and welcome to this your next Allegro HD tutorial now um, much like the other um, series this is probably going to be split into three parts um, if you haven't watched my um, updates um, my like my next update videos I put up two update videos in a row and um, the second one was um, based on left out details um, basically I'm gonna be putting up one part of each video each video that's coming up from now on there's gonna be one video coming every single day so at 12 o'clock midnight and Eastern Standard Time which is negative 5 on the world's clock basically there's gonna be a video posted every single day at exactly 12 a.m. in this series so if you don't want to stay up till 12 a.m. then the following evening or the following day or whatever you will have a brand new tutorial waiting on you okay so just so you know so then you'll learn something new every day so make sure you check my channel check youtube tell your friends or whatever to check back here every single day for your next tutorial so anyways uh let's get started so in this in our last tutorial series uh there was we learned about sprites and loading sprites um through a sprite sheet and although that's the most um in most cases you will be using sprite sheets in a lot of other cases you might not be using sprite sheets and you might have to load images frame by frame right and you might be wondering what I'm talking about well um if you look at right here what I have right here basically I have split the images oh sorry I have split the images um oh Okay, I split the images from the last tutorial, and as you can see, all this was one image before, but I split it into 16 different images. So this was the first row, this was the second row, this was the third row, and this was the last row right here. So, um, basically, sometimes not all your sprites in the sprite sheet will be all the same size. So, if you look at this for an example, this is Ganondorf. Um, yeah, so if you guys know him or whatever from the video game series, I don't remember which, um, video game he's in again. Anyways, um, if you were to take this sprite sheet, not all of the frames in the animation are the same size. Say you wanted to do, um, his super attack, right? First, this is, say this frame was like a hundred, um, but like 80 by 80. And then this frame would be like 200 by 80. This one would be like 150 by 80, and so on and so forth. So in order for the frame to the animation to actually work, then you would have to crop out frame by frame. So this is what I have done over here. I've cropped out the images frame by frame, and then what we're gonna do is the same thing as the last tutorial. So we're gonna um, say that when we're pressing down, it's gonna scroll through each one of these four images. When you press left, it's going to scroll through these four. When you click right, these four. And when you click up, um, these four. So, uh, let's get started. Oh, before I forget, if you want to crop out the picture just for the convenience of this tutorial, um, then I, pref I, re I will refer you to pixlice.com. You just input the picture name, um, say how much, how much you want to like divide it by, and it will do it for you. Um, just a little tip right there so uh, let us get into the code now there is two different methods that I put in this code so I'm going to be explaining both methods it's up to you which one you decide to use um, but yeah so let's look on here I've included something called the S stream and this stands for the string stream and um, you will learn more about this um, later on when it comes to loading okay when it comes to loading the sprites and I'll get into that soon so all the initializing functions are the exact same um, the timer function is the same um, we loaded our um, our buffer uh, created this for the game loop and um, the source is the same but um, as you notice we have a bitmap and to, to the player image and it has an array of 16 right so um, 
basically since we're loading 16 images then we all put we'll put them all into one image instead of doing a uh, bitmap player one player image one and then player image two etc etc um we all put them in an array and this is the convenient good convenience for arrays so anyways you might be wondering how do we load um our sprites so this is where the string stream comes in so if you haven't noticed um there's one thing about streams that are all the same right so if you if you remember when you were learning your basics in C++ if you have learned the basics there was something that you had to include called the IO stream and it stood for input output stream and basically you had these two functions called C out and C in console output console input now you always have to put these two left stream operators or these right stream operators right now you may be wondering why they were there well here is a good lesson why they are there so basically anything you would write after this so say I was gonna write hello world anything anything to the right of it would be transferred all into the window the console output right so it's basically pointing this stuff is pointing towards the console output meaning that whatever you put here is going to be drawn to the screen for C in it was getting information from you so the console was pointing to your variable or to your variable or whatever to get information from it and then you would do whatever you want with the information later on so this means the arrow is basically wherever it's pointing it means the information that you're getting is being pointed to that so um, it's much like the off stream, um, the, the f stream. When you use off stream, anything that you write is being put into that file. And then the if stream, you're getting the content from that file. The file is asking you for certain contents. So it's the same for the string stream, but it doesn't deal with the console or it doesn't deal with the files. With the string stream, it deals with strings. Okay? So I haven't included the std namespace. So I have to do std colon colon and then it's called string stream and I'm going to name the string stream um, str which stands for string and end it with a semicolon. So I put str the left stream operators which means everything that's here is going to be pointing to the previous thing. So I'm basically saying um, I'm going to the string stream is equal to sprites slash um, and I put these two i plus one dot bmp so basically this is how it's gonna look str is gonna look like this so for the first time it loops it's gonna be sprites um sprites one dot bmp that's how it's gonna look after the first loop right first iteration of the loop so um now you're gonna be asking uh what is the sprite slash for at the beginning well if you hadn't noticed before I put all the sprites in a separate sprites folder it's best to do that to group the images into a folder so it's not all cluttered and it's neater in that way and it's more organized so they're all in the sprites folder so I put sprite, sprite slash one dot bmp so it's gonna lo load the first image and it goes for 16 times until it loads all 16 images right so um let's look at the actual loading process so let me check my time right now okay so anyways let's look at the loading process so we took we do player image i because we start the loop at zero it goes from zero to 15 right remember arrays start at the value zero so what we want to do is that we say um, player image i so for the first index of the array we want to load the first image so we do load bitmap so we have to change it into something that Allegro can actually uh, recognize right so um, Allegro is a C based language so it can only recognize 
charge strings right and um so it can only like yeah, yeah so it only recognize C string sorry so what we do is we take the string stream name str we put dot we change it to a C++ string type and we put dot and then we change it to a C string type and then the same goes for here it just null so with this process it will load all the images into our player image array